The graph shows the height of a pendulum bob as a function of time. One cycle of a pendulum consists of two swings, a right swing and a left swing. In part A, write a function that describes the height of the pendulum bob as a function of time. In the animation, we can see that the height of the pendulum bob oscillates between a minimum of 4 cm and a maximum of 8 cm. The midline corresponds to a vertical displacement 6 meters up. The amplitude is 2 meters. The period is 2 seconds. Use the formula b equals 2 pi over p to get the b value. Plug in 2 seconds for the period. The b value is equivalent to pi. The graph has no phase shift, so c equals 0. Plug the parameters into the general cosine formula, y equals a cos b theta minus c plus d. The independent variable is time, and the dependent variable is height. The function is h of t equals 2 cos pi t plus 6. Now we'll move on to part b. If the period of the pendulum is halved, how will this change the parameters in the function you wrote in part a? Bring up the graph we drew in part A. If the period of the pendulum is halved, this has the same effect as a horizontal stretch by a factor of one half. The new B value is 2 pi. The B parameter is doubled when the period is halved. The A, C, and D parameters remain the same. Now we'll move on to part C. If the pendulum is lowered so its lowest point is 2 cm above the ground, how will this change the parameters in the function you wrote in part A? Bring up the graph we drew in part A. Move the graph down until the lowest point is 2 meters above the ground. The d parameter decreases by 2 units, giving us d equals 4. All other parameters remain unchanged.